I am Megan Blanford. I'm a full-time freelance writer and I live on a little hobby farm in the country with my husband and two kids and a few animals. Uh, before I was writing, I was working in uh, the corporate world, in human resources. I was managing the HR function of a, a rapidly growing national company um, and I loved that at the time. But after I had my first daughter, uh, who's now six, um, it just wasn't working for me anymore. They wanted me to come back full time. I remember sitting in front of my computer one day and thinking, what do I do? And I thought, this thought popped in my head, I've always wanted to write always wanted to try writing since I was a little girl and I'd got caught up in this sort of sensible path of the, the mainstream thing that people do. So I sat there and I thought, right, well it's now or never. There's probably never going to be another point in my life where I think, huh, oh, I've got all this time up my sleeve, what am I going to do? Uh, before, before I did the writing course, I was blogging, which I really loved, but I wanted to take it to the next level and really make writing my career. So that day I signed up for the Australian Writers' Centre um, magazine and newspaper writing course. So it gave me the confidence to, really, to put myself out there and sell my skills, um, pitch ideas, look at different publications I could write for um, without worrying about, um, I guess at first I was a little worried about burning bridges if I said the wrong thing to an editor, if I pitched an idea that wasn't very good, you know, was that would that strike me off their list forever? So I think the course gave me the confidence to take that next step and to put myself out there as a writer. So after I did the writing course, I just hit the ground running. Um, I, it's a bit all or nothing for me. So I had in my head a couple of, I guess, mind blocks um, of who I didn't think I'd ever be good enough to write for. And I thought, I'm going to hit those first and if I can do that then I can make this work, I can do anything after that. So I thought alright I wouldn't be good enough to write for a newspaper and I wouldn't be good enough to write for an in-flight magazine, they were just my, my little things that I had in my head. So I just started pitching to, um, to The Age and to Jetstar magazine and funnily enough first idea for each of those I got a yes. So I did that and I thought, here we go. So, and I've just kept running with it since then. I'm now a full-time writer. I guess I have a few avenues of how I make that, make that work and have that income. Um, one of the main sources of income I have at the moment is uh, writing content for corporate clients, um, which is often for their blog. Um, I do travel writing as well, which I really love. And I write a bit of parenting stuff my writing work has appeared in The Age, Jetstar Magazine, Essential Kids, International Traveller, Wellbeing, Practical Parenting, uh, Kids Spot, and lots more. I really credit doing the course with the Australian Writers' Centre as a real turning point in my writing career. It's helped me build it up as a business and I think the community around it as well with other writers um, and talking through ideas and problems that we're facing has been a huge help. 